Z hit a uh, solo shot. Tigers win one nothing over the Twins. Uh, they'll go at it again tonight. 7-10 first pitch right here on 97. Won the ticket. Anibal Sanchez taking the mound for the Tigers, and hopefully he can uh, change his losing ways. Uh, guess what? We're back! That's right. It's Facebook Live! We are live on Facebook. If you go to the 97 one, the ticket Facebook page, you can see us live. Been a while. Evan was uh, in mean, rehab. What was it? Yep. <laughs> And uh, but he's back. He's much better. Mm -hmm. So uh, thoughts and prayers. He's doing good though. He's doing good. Uh, in the free press, uh, there was a story. The freep, excuse me. Uh, two musicians decided, hey, I think John Williams lives here. The guy who wrote a lot of music for a lot of movies, Jurassic Park, uh, among others. Too, but most most notably, Star Wars. Came up with the Star Wars name. So these guys decide, well, let's camp out in front of his house and uh, let's play some music on the fugal, flugelhorn. Trumpet now. That's very cool. That is one 13 years old. Mom. Oh, yeah. The oh, kid, hello there. The kid <laughs> playing trumpet, Bryce Hayashi. Yeah. Uh, 13 years old. The other uh, person, I'm not sure how old he is, was on the aforementioned flugelhorn. flugelhorn. Star Wars, considered by many to be one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. Absolutely. Movie soundtracks. Um, but it's one of those soundtracks where it's all original music. By the way, sounds like a Dr. Seuss made up horn. Like it does, yeah. <laughs> and the Who's in Whoville grabbed their flugel horns and made it out. Yes. Yeah. Friends with the sousaphone. I guess. Oh, yeah. John uh, JPS, big fan. <laughs> uh, but what is the greatest? What, what soundtrack just had the best music? 248-539-9797. And concert, like Woodstock doesn't count, because that's all no. it is. <laughs> Whether original music like Star Wars was, it was all original music. There were no established songs in it. Or what I think is one of the greatest soundtracks of all time, uh, singles. That's not gas, that's a bass guitar. <laughs> I mean, I had Alice in Chains, which yeah. you hear there, Smashing Pumpkins, Pearl Jam. It's almost like, without even trying, Citizen Richard. It was like the now that's what I call music of that year. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It was it was the, the Seattle sound yeah. of that year. That mm -hmm. that is a great soundtrack. The single soundtrack uh, is awesome. But what what are some of the better soundtracks out there? And maybe it's just an instrumental thing, like Star Wars was. Or I would say Inception. <laughs> A lot of people were taking, I mean, just from the trailer, that whoom noise. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were doing memes and stuff. Off Would of that be considered part of the soundtrack, though? It was, it was all, it was all bizarre, Within the like, music. instrumental um, oh, yeah. stuff on that one. And uh, in college, along with singles, I loved um, the Pulp Fiction soundtrack at the time. I get that's, that's mine. I get sort of worn out on that, the whole the Dick Dale stuff. Well, now. Yeah. <laughs> But there's other great stuff on there. There's the, 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 uh, the, the dancing scene when they did the Chuck Berry song. Sue. Uma Thurman and John Travolta danced to oh. the uh, You Can Never Tell, right. the Chuck Berry song. Yeah. Jungle Boogie. The, the Jungle Boogie, Let's Stay Together, Al Green's in there. There's a lot of good stuff in there. 248-539-9797. Uh, uh, someone has one that I was unaware, but evidently a... A lot of people like this one. Uh, John and Kigo Harbor, what do you got? Uh, about Forrest Gump and Back to the Future. I don't know about that. What was on Back to the Future? Yeah, I don't remember what music was there. Uh, Huey Lewis. Oh. Oh, well, 
you know. Michael J. Fox, who shreds, who, by the way, just played with Coldplay. Did you see that? No. He yes. performed on stage with Coldplay. Wow. Um, yeah, Forrest Gump, because of all the uh, the different times it takes place, right. was a great soundtrack. All on the Watchtower, you had uh, other uh, a period songs. There are yeah, not I'm, songs I'm, I'm about periods. At... I'm saying there were songs <laughs> about not menstruals. I'm saying you know what I mean. Yeah. I wonder if there are there any songs about periods. Um, hmm. I'm sure there are. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sure they're out there. Are sure they've been written. Or... Yeah, uh, the song time. with red in the title. I don't know. Perhaps uh, I'll uh, let's move on. Joe. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm not gonna, I, I have an answer, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. It's uh, Joe in Milford. You're on 97 on the ticket. Hey, I got two for you guys. One is uh, Carrie's Fire. Oh, well, that's yeah. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah. Oh, no? I'm assuming you could buy it physically somewhere. If you wanted to buy a used so CD, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it'd probably be out there. But yeah, Chariots of Fire had the That's soundtrack the where they're running in slow yeah. motion. We can use Rocky for that. I mean, Rocky had a great soundtrack, too. Sure. Oh, yeah. The Bill, Bill Conti stuff. Now, Bill, you didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy, did you? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stupid. So, you know, oh, I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't like it. That talking tree, it's so unrealistic. <laughs> That's your problem with it? Kidding. Uh, but like yeah, people so, say that about science fiction. Like that would ever happen. Much like Forrest Gump, this one has a lot of old school songs on it. Mm -hmm. on the yeah, it's a, yeah, Jackson I, 5. Yeah. How much you back? Now see, do we count these two? Do you see these? Do you yeah. I, I, no, I don't, think, I don't think so either. I don't think you can include Demetrius and Franklin. We apologize. Demetrius has Purple Rain. Well, that was the album. Right. But that, it wasn't but the songs were on the were on as radio hits too. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say I'm gonna. Because I, I, I thought of that, and I said, and Tommy by well. Franklin, same thing. Tommy right. is the Who's album. Right. It's, an op, it's a rock opera. Yeah, it was an album before it was a movie. Long before it was a movie. It's, uh, and the other same two that we have, the other two before. we're gonna get to. I actually thought of them as as well. Those are well. Let's go to the one. I this is a. Excellent soundtrack. Anthony and Shelby Township. <laughs> yeah, hey, morning, guys. Hey. Hey, good fellas. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic soundtrack. It is a good Great soundtrack. Great soundtrack. Like what is, which, I forget, when he's driving away, when he, all the helicopters are chasing him in the end, are they, what are they playing? No, you know what, I don't remember. Is it the Stones? Is it? Oh, what song is playing? I forget what song is playing, but whatever it was, I remember it sort of setting the scene. But yeah, Goodfellas has a great soundtrack. We'll take more of your calls. Layla. Two, four, eight. Oh, Layla was playing? I think so. At the end? Because it's the last one on the Layla soundtrack. Is, no, Layla is playing when they're showing all the guys that were killed because they opened right. their mouths from the airport heist. Like they show the guys in the freezer truck. Yeah. But the helicopter scene where he's all coked up and he's trying to get out of there. Uh, great. 248-539-9797. Well, if you're looking...